Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the merge two binary trees problem. Given two binary trees, and imagine that when you put one of them to cover the other, some nodes of the two trees are overlapped, while the others are not. You need to merge them into a new binary tree. The merge rule is that if two nodes overlap, then some node values up as the new value of the merged node. Otherwise, the not null node will be used as the node of the new tree. So what do they mean? Well, they give us an example. The input tree 1 and tree 2. So you want to merge tree 1 and tree 2. So as they said before, if the node is present in both trees, so you add the values up. So this is the result or the output. So here you see that one is present and 2 is present, so the corresponding nodes are present, so you add them up. 1 plus 2 is 3, so the new value is 3 in the new, no in the new tree for this node. Then you see 3 is present and also the corresponding node is 1 here, so you add them up. 3 plus 1 is 4, so you have a new node with value 4. Okay. Then you see that 5 is present here, but 5 is not present here. So what you do is that you just put the 5. In this case, there's nothing here, but there's a 4 here, so you put the 4 in the new tree. In this case, you see that there's a 2, and the corresponding node here is a 3, so you add them up. 3 plus 2 is 5, so you have a node 5 in the output at this position. And at this position, you have nothing here, but here you have a 7, so in the final result, you have to have a node with a 7 here. So this is the merge of those two trees. So how can we solve this problem? One way to solve this problem is recursively. So we can just handle the multiple cases as we traverse down the tree using recursion. If we see that um, we compare uh, tree 1 and tree 2, so we compare the left subtree with the left subtree and the right subtree of T1 with the right subtree of T2, every recursive call. If we find that there's a corresponding left subtree, in T1 and a corresponding left subtree for uh, in T2, then I just add the values up for those nodes. If I find that, let's say there's something in T1 on the left subtree, but there's nothing uh, on T2 for the left subtree, I just um, make sure that the new result has the the left subtree of T1. Convert um, in, by the same token, if there's nothing for the right subtree of T1, but there's something for the right subtree of T2, I just use the right subtree of T2 for my new output, for the final result. So uh, that's the main idea. I can use recursion to uh, handle the left subtree and the right subtree. And I compare the left subtree of T of tree 1 with the left subtree of T2, and the right subtree of tree 1 with the right subtree of tree, of tree 2. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, if t1 equals equals null, I just return t2. That means that if the left subtree, if there's no left subtree in, in tree 1, just uh, the new result will have just the, the left subtree of, of tree 2. Also, if there's no right subtree in, in tree 2, I just return the right subtree in t1. All right, so those cases are handled. Now, um, if I get here, that means that um, both sub trees are both trees are present. That means that the both sub trees are present. So I just have to add the values up. So I can say t1 that value plus equals t2 that value. So now I'm using just the node in in tree one. Um, for my final output, and then I can fix the links. So I can say t1 dot left gets a value of merge trees. t1 dot left, t2 dot left, and t1 dot right gets a value of merge trees. t1 dot right, t2 dot right, and then I just return t1. So what am I doing here? If both values are present, let's say this node is present and this node is present, I just add them up. 
so 3 plus 1 is 4 and then I have the new node 4 and then I just recursively fix the left subtree and recursively fix the right subtree and I have to compare the left subtree in tree 1 with the left subtree in T2 or tree 2 and I have to compare um, the right subtree in tree 1 with the right subtree in tree 2 and at the end I return the new node or I return the tree okay so I'm gonna run the code it seems to be working perfectly so I'm gonna submit a solution alright this is working perfectly so as you can see we use recursion here um, the time complexity is big O of n where n is the number of nodes in the tree um, so if you like the video please press the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time